Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. You guys know what time it is. It is time for that Bitcoin Cash analysis. We're going to be talking about what really is happening right now for the price of Bitcoin Cash and where we could honestly see the price going in the immediate short term. Right now, we're seeing a little bit of a shift uh, that's happening within the overall momentum of Bitcoin Cash. Could this honestly be the time that everyone is waiting for for that start to that next leg up where we do? You see the price of Bitcoin Cash hitting a new yearly high. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So as of July the 12th, we're looking at the price of Bitcoin Cash. You guys can see it's currently sitting at $285. It's up 4% in both USD and BTC comparative over the last 24 hours. We're seeing the market cap approaching that $5.5 billion mark and the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at a half a billion dollars. So what really is next? You know, this one is an interesting one. So you do want to watch this one till the absolute end. But of course, as you guys all know, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So you guys can see on the daily side of things, we are seeing Bitcoin Cash as one of the top gainers. And now you may be coming in saying Crypto ZX, it's only up about 5%. Why are you so excited? Settle down, guys. That's what I'm going to get into right now because, you know, it's really, really important to see how it reacts on a daily basis, especially against BTC it shows us how strong the momentum is because now you know let's not ignore if we go on the monthly side it's one of the biggest performers which we already aware of and you know the narrative that bitcoin cash has you know painted for itself right now is huge we have not ever seen this type of narrative previously in the bull cycle because previously you know the times were different you know the regulatory side of things you know there was no etf but this time around a lot of those people a lot of those massive hedge funds institutions that were against bitcoin this time around they're coming and supporting it and this time around we could finally see potentially first time ever an etf get approved if that were to happen, you know, that can literally, you know, shift the entire image on the entire cryptocurrency market industry. So that is some factors we need to keep in mind when we're analyzing, of course, the charts. But, you know, before we get into the price, I wanted to show you guys this. You guys can see breaking news. S&P 500 rises to new 52 week high highest since april 2022 so basically what's happening is that the stock market is really picking up and if we go back literally to 2022 and even 2020 we did see a massive correlation between the stock market and the bitcoin uh price obviously the cryptocurrency and uh, entire market but this year what we have seen is a little bit of difference. This year, we did see Bitcoin as being the top asset class, um, you know, throughout all the assets that you can name. We saw Bitcoin literally break 30K. Um, but now we're starting to see slowly but surely the stock market also creeping back up. So could we see, you know, a massive correlation once again? Could we see Bitcoin breaking past, uh, you know, a new uh, yearly high? we will see as of course we do go into this upcoming week but what we're seeing happening with bitcoin cash is insane so as i've said you know of course we did see a lot of people around this level of course when we saw that beautiful level of support i'm sorry a beautiful level of um uh, you know consolidation and obviously a re retest of about 24 percent from the yearly high this is where we lost a lot of people right here this is where all the uh, people that are here for the quick buck got out right this range here and now you may be saying what's so bad about that absolutely nothing if you were one of the buyers that was picking up some bitcoin cash below this level of resistance at um, 154 dollars and you decided to lock some profits in around here guess what I'm proud of you. Give yourself a big pat on the back because at the end of the day, locking those profits in and picking it up at a lower price is great. What I meant was that, you know, a lot of people that, you know, are chasing just green after green, those are the people that are out. And now I'm sure the people that sold around here, that panic sold, are looking at the price jump up about 13% from, you know, the July 5th price. And now you guys are, they're probably kicking themselves. Ah, is this about to moon again? It potentially could moon really, really hard again because look what we're coming against. 
we're about to once again potentially retest that level of resistance which we tried to break out of a few times after you know hitting a new yearly high but we never managed to do so but this time around if we do see a little bit more buying pressure and most importantly if we see the price of bitcoin push if the price of bitcoin pushes into a new yearly high be prepared that bitcoin cash will hit a new yearly high because if i bring out the measuring tool for you guys you know when you really look at it from this point of view you really understand how bullish bitcoin cash is looking it's only about 16.6 percent away for it to hit a new yearly high and i've said you know bitcoin cash has painted a huge narrative for itself a lot of the newcomers and even the ogs there i'm see i talk to a lot of people and even some of the people that i talked to that have been in the markets around the same time i've been even they're like you know hey aside from becoming new into the market or not you know bitcoin cash just seems like a better buying opportunity and especially when the fomo kicks in and institutional uh, side interest shows up they will be like hey you know what bitcoin cash does not seem like a bad opportunity opportunity because again correlation everyone looks at the correlation if bitcoin explodes to $120,000 that a lot of analysts are calling it to be at some are even calling it uh, to be at 200k what do you think is going to happen with bitcoin cash bitcoin cash is going to you know obviously go up with that and we could see bitcoin cash some are saying ten thousand dollars bitcoin cash and honestly speaking that's not out of the woods if uh, we were to see, like I said, a crazy amount for Bitcoin. And obviously, if the ETF were to be approved, we could see something that we have never seen before in this cryptocurrency market. So, you know, things are looking great. But now you might and come and say, oh, what if the ETF, you know, of course, you know, BlackRock has one of the best track record, uh, you know, for ETF approvals. But what if this time around they actually do not approve it? Of course, that is, you know, if you're going to come and say that's not going to impact uh, the entire market structure you know we're lying to ourselves let's be realistic if the etf were to be rejected completely and you know sec is like absolutely not then yes listen here carefully yes it will impact the market it will impact the price of bitcoin but that does not change the bull run the bull run will still happen no matter what we've seen that happen year after year after year after year um so you know i don't think that will change uh but of course you know i think if the etf were to be approved we could probably see a few more trillions of dollars come in uh to the space which of course will lead to the biggest bull cycle that a lot of people are talking about so that is the current uh you know so that's the current image on the entire market the current sentiment but nonetheless speaking about bitcoin cash itself the momentum that is showing us right now is really really crazy and if it's able to break out of this level of resistance guys that i'm showing you guys here right now at uh, 304 dollars if it's able to break out of here do expect that you know we could see bitcoin cash possibly even hitting close to 400 dollars even at the end of this month if it were to be hitting a 400 380 dollar of course that's the next level of resistance that's a move only about 36 percent and we know when money flows into the market it can you know flow in like crazy so eyes should be on bitcoin you know it would be a christmas party for uh you know the bitcoin cash holders if bitcoin hits a new yearly high you know we will see bitcoin are uh, really i'm sorry bitcoin cash really um you know react very positively to that news but that is it for today's update of course we'll keep you guys updated if anything were to happen do not forget to subscribe guys come follow me on twitter love each and every one of you guys see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out